Alex is at the airport looking for a seat. He rests his bag down for a second, has a look around and then moves on. Notice anything strange? Take another look. You've just witnessed the booster bag scam. The booster bag is almost like the comedy item of pickpockets because it's unbelievable when you see it. It looks like it's out of a James Bond movie and yet it's incre incredibly effective. All the booster bag is, is is a large bag that has got a false bottom and all it does is it gets dropped on top of a slightly smaller bag. There's nothing to see because the larger bag is covering it and unless the mark has noticed that the bag is gone, you're just walking down the street with a rather large bag. The key to the scam is the way the bag is rigged. It's hollow and contains a spring-loaded grabbing device which can hold on to any smaller bag it's placed over. Signature. Alex has spotted the perfect hit. A car in our parking. With the evidence completely hidden, he can casually walk away. And if the scam proves too tough to pull off single-handedly, the hustler can simply introduce an accomplice to act as a decoy. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Tony, if you just help me, please. I'm a bit yeah. stuck. I'm, I can't seem to find my flight anywhere. Right, the Copenhagen flight? Yeah. As Jess distracts the mark with a question, Alex swoops in for the bag. The Copenhagen flight? Yeah. Oh, it's a very simple, effective and crafty little con. <laughs> Too many times people go and sit in a cafe, put their bag over the back of the chair. Remember, these people are opportunistic. If you're slightly protecting yourself, they'll just move on to somebody else. <laughs>